This image was right here was sent to me and I was immediately disgusted in so many ways. Um, so as we all know, prom season is upon us. You know, the kids are getting ready to, you know, get their stuff together, the tuxes, dresses, all of that good stuff. You know, it's a great time for people who are getting ready to graduate from high school to have one last big, I guess you can say, celebration before they transcend into uh, post-public or private school education. And a lot of times in recent years, you've had kids become creative and have prom proposals, which is basically like a junior level of a marriage proposal. It's just for asking someone to a dance for one night opposed to a marriage proposal, you asking to be with that person for a lifetime. And a lot of them are very, you know, unique and, you know, creative and whatnot. But this one right here is not creative. It is not unique. It is very, very insulting. And what's so sad is I don't think that the girl in the picture realizes how insulting this really is. So as you can see in this picture, and I don't know if you can tell because it's kind of bright, you have this black girl standing in front of this sign and behind her sitting on the car is an Asian boy. And on the sign it says, would you like to be my thought Tiana and bust down with me at prom? Now, some of you may be familiar with that term Tatiana. It's from that song by Blueface. It became a very popular song. And I believe it came out a couple months ago. It even had a little dance that came along that went along with it. But the fact of the matter is that he made this sign and she took a picture with it and she's smiling. So that lets me know that she accepted his little prom proposal and that they will both be going to the prom together. But the insulting part about it is, is that she was insulted and she doesn't seem to care or mind that she was. Let me break down the two main words in this, uh, in this uh, sign. Tatiana. The word thought is short for that hoe over there. Just in case y'all didn't know, that's what thought stands for. So you just basically said that you are a hoe. That's basically what she just said, that she's a hoe. Now, they took that word and thought and put Tiana after it to make it seem like it was something pristine. I hope to God that no kid, that no person out in this generation that right now who has any kids names their daughter that. Because then I'm going to have to really want to call Child Protective Services on you just for you naming your child that. Because that, I would see that as a form of abuse. The next thing that got me is when he said bust down. Now that's also in the song too, bust down. Now if anyone doesn't know what bust down mean, that's basically a girl who gives uh, sexual pleasure to any and everyone just because, or maybe she's doing it to do have like as a come up. Basically she's being a hoe. So she got referred to as a hoe twice in this sign and she doesn't seem to mind, maybe, maybe because she doesn't even know the meaning of these words. And because they hear him in that song and they don't care. See, the thing is, it got glamorized. The, the, the term Tatiana and Bust Down got glamorized, but they're not glamorous words by any measure. Y'all just got your ratchet history lesson of the day. It's just that they didn't replace him with what the words really meant, which is, ho. Oh, that's what it is, promiscuous. Now, notice that she's all smiling and everything, and this is with, with an Asian boy. If this was with a black boy, I would still be upset because you are, and if you was still acting this, if she was still acting the same, like you still allowed yourself to be degraded. She did. I wonder if her parents have seen this picture and how they feel about it, if they feel anything about it at all. Because it's pretty much has gone viral. I already seen it in three different locations. It got sent to me by two of my subscribers, and one of my subscribers, I asked them where did they get it from, and they showed me where it came from, and it came from somebody who has a pretty massive following. But this is, like, this is very disturbing, and it, it disgusts me. Because if it was a black boy, for instance, that did something like that to this girl or any black girl, they would have the pitchforks, the torches, the knot, all of that coming after him saying, how dare you degrade black women in this, that, and the third. Yet you have this Asian boy who's doing it right now, and I don't hear a sound. I don't hear a peep. But that doesn't surprise me. And, it, and we just had that incident with the Ancestry ad where you have the black slave woman running off with Massa, 
uh, basically trying to rewrite the narrative of slavery. Like, what the hell is like? It's an agenda. I don't have to ask what's going on. I know what it, I know what it is. And some people are gonna say, "Oh, you need to stop looking so much into this. You're doing too much, and this, that, and the third. No, I'm not doing too much. I'm actually doing what I'm supposed to do. What you need to stop doing is stop being so damn single, bitter, lonely, flightless, and a straight up strag, and shut the hell up. Don't be mad because I'm actually concerned about this. And it's a shame that as a black man, that I feel like I'm one of the few that actually is concerned about this. Black women should be the ones screaming the loudest." Because it's an indictment on you. But yeah, I don't not like I really if I was her dad, I would be like, what the hell is wrong with you? You just allowed this Asian boy. And it's not even the fact that he's Asian. It could have been anybody. You just allow a boy to degrade you. All for a damn prom. He could have asked in a whole different way. But he called you a Tatiana. And would you bust down with me at the prom? That means if if he knew what that word meant, you know what he's going to expect at the end of the night. He's going to expect what you know. Many of us who went to the prom know exactly what that was. For a lot of people, when they went to the prom, that's when they lost their virginity quiet as it's kept. But yeah, I don't. I don't like this. I, I don't. I really don't. And like I said, it could have came from any boy of any ethnic background, and I still wouldn't have approved of it. But y'all let me know what y'all think of this down in the comments, and I will talk to you in the next one.